What's going on, my friend? It's Jeff Newpert from ChasingStrength.com. In today's video, we are discussing fighting Rocky Balboa kettlebell workout mode when you're over 40. I don't know about you, but I remember Rocky 3 and Rocky 4 almost like it was yesterday. They had some of the best training montages of all time. Remember, remember Apollo Creed? He's like, I had a tiger rock. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. I'm doing a terrible Apollo Creed impersonation, but man, go look them up. They'll, they'll just, they'll get the goosebumps going. The hairs will stand on end and your adrenaline will immediately start flowing. And I love those soundtracks. I love the music. I had a tiger, burning heart, war, no easy way out, the training montage. I mean, all that stuff from Rocky IV and some of the stuff from Rocky III, fantastic, all excellent workout music. And honestly, I've been listening to those songs for the last 25 plus years, embarrassed almost to say it. It doesn't seem like it's been that long, but you know, apparently time and tide wait for no man in ages. It's catching up to me. So, you know, I don't know about you, but if you've listened to those songs, maybe you felt the same way I did, right? Or do, I should say, very few of, of any songs, any other songs get me amped up like those Rocky training montage songs, right? You know, know what I'm talking about? Now, the problem that most of us face, maybe not you, but most most guys like us, the problem we face is being able to control that adrenaline, right? The psych, the arousal levels, and still staying focused on the program at hand without going nuts. And uh, to quote Rocky, to go for it. This terrible Rocky impersonation. I got to stick my lip out. Go for it. I can't even do that. All right. Sorry, Sylvester Stallone, if you're watching this, but you know what I'm talking about. And honestly, that was a real problem for me when my coach Alfonso structured many of my Olympic lifting training sessions around near daily rep maxes or RMs. So I'd just, I'd be in the strength room. I'd crank up eye of the tiger. I'd lock the door and I was always good for an extra five or 10 kilos uh, or so sometimes more on any given lift on any given day. You know, that was fantastic. But for us over 40 somethings, well, to quote another timeless movie character or TV show, Danger, Danger Will Robinson. Danger. Remember those guys? Remember the, the robot from Lost in Space? Yeah, may, maybe you don't. Maybe I'm definitely showing my age here. Well, nowadays, how do I listen to those songs and how do I use them? Well, you know, I don't use them to psych up anymore per se. I'm not trying to get an extra five or 10 kilos off of any lift. I use those songs actually to help me remember that I'm still capable and still strong. Okay, because so many of us guys over 40, we think that over 40 is some kind of death sentence, right? And you got to give up the ghost and, and put it in maintenance mode or phone it in. And that's just not true at all. I use it to remind myself I am still capable of getting stronger. And so are you. But here's what I don't use those songs for. I don't use them to psych up. I still use auto regulation, bar speed, ease movement, nasal breathing. Well, okay, maybe not not nasal breathing all the time because I have chronic sinus problems. And that makes breathing kind of hard just in general. But uh, I use nasal breathing when I can. Also, rate of perceived exertion, right? RPEs. All the things, all the concepts and parameters I recommend that you do. And I still use set and rep prescriptions when necessary. And, you know, let's face it. Sometimes they are necessary depending on the load, personality, training outcome you're looking for. Plus, now that I'm older and grayer and hopefully a little wiser, nowhere near as banged up as I was back in my 30s, right? Which I paid for. My 30s was the decade that I paid for trying to get those extra five or 10 kilos in every workout when I was in my twenties, right? Like I said, now that I'm older and grayer and hopefully a little wiser, you know, it took me a long time to realize that using those Rocky soundtracks to get those extra five, 10 kilos to go harder, go heavier, right? Envision myself running up the hill, you know, shouting Adrian at the top of my lungs. When I was younger, th it was those training sessions, like I just mentioned, those are the ones that caused all the damage that I had to, had to recover from in my thirties and early forties. Right. I mean, I just pushed harder and faster and through too much pain. Now, I want to emphasize there it was actual pain. It wasn't discomfort. It was physical pain than I should have. I never recommend anybody push through physical pain. Right? Discomfort's another story. Pain, go get it checked out. Okay. I ignore the things that I recommend that you don't ignore and that I advocate now, like a drop in bar speed, technique change, grinding reps, and those things willfully ignoring those training guidelines, those training parameters, those are what caused me more pain from breaking parts of my body. Okay. No pain, no gain is a lie, especially once you're over 40. All right. And that's because it takes us two to three times longer to recover. And the truth is, if you break something over 40, you may not recover at all. Whereas in your twenties, you could have recovered, right? It took, like I said, it took me almost a decade to recover from all the damage I did from training this way. So look, just remember, as great as Rocky was, all that head trauma and crazy training led him to make really stupid mistakes, right? I mean, for example, he let that moron bum brother-in-law of his, Polly, right, manage 
the family finances. And what did Pauly do? Well, he gambled it all away and lost it all on a real estate scam. And then I don't know if you remember this, but in Rocky Five, right? Rocky ends up with the shakes. So he's broke, financially broke and physically broken. And he ended up poorly managing Tommy Gunn, who, you know, he ended up fighting in the street, right? And then we go and we watch Rocky Balboa or Rocky Six. And uh, he's, it turns out that Rocky's partially estranged, if not fully estranged, from his son, Robert. Okay? So, look, let's keep the Rocky soundtracks where they belong as a wonderful memory of our misspent youth. And if you're going to train with them in the background, like I do sometimes, look, use them only as a reminder to keep going. But use the wisdom of age and auto-regulation this time around. You know what I'm saying? I had a tiger champ. I had a tiger. Look, if you want Rocky-like focus on your strength training, the strong program turns your clean and press four rep max into 60 reps in a workout. Now it's not going to do it overnight. You'll do it over the course of about 24 weeks, but you will do it if you follow the program as written. Okay. And look, all the programming in the strong program is done for you. There's no auto regulation. So you're going to have to learn to balance the, there is no tomorrow mindset with the live to fight another day mantra. Okay. But again, you'll have to fight for it. And once you hit those 60 reps, well, you know, you might not run up to the top of the mountain and scream, Drago, at the top of your lungs. You probably feel like you can do it. I'll leave a link for Kettlebell Strong in the description below, Chan. All right? Till next time, stay strong.